Good evening, everybody. I'm meteorologist Jesse Hawila. Uh, we want to give you the latest update on Ida. Still a Category 3 hurricane with winds of 115, so it's on the cusp of being downgraded to a Category 2 very soon. Doing some serious damage and some serious issues to New Orleans. In fact, we're going to get to a power outage map here in just a second. The entire city of New Orleans reported without power. The only thing that is providing power to some are generators. So the Really, the bulk of the, the worst of what's come to come for New Orleans is happening right now. There's Hurricane Ida's center just west of the city. Boy, I got awfully close, and this is the dangerous side of the storm. So winds have been in excess of 100 miles per hour at times in New Orleans. Flooding rain also taking place in this area as Ida starts to lift to the north. So we're going to continue to watch this. The latest information winds again 115 as it's moving to the northwest around nine miles per hour. Uh, winds uh, in, again, it's 45 miles to the southeast of Baton Rouge. Let me show you this. Let me show you this power outage map across that area. So all of that red essentially again, the entire city of New Orleans has no power. The only thing providing would be some generators in some areas, and we have some live shots to show you of dark New Orleans now. So uh, you can see a couple of lights here and there, uh, but really the entire city powerless as those 100 plus mile per hour winds move through New Orleans and continue to do so. Wind gust uh, right now around 80 miles per hour. There's kind of a, a, a view that shows you how breezy it is uh, in New Orleans right now. Again, gust around 80. This is still a category three storm. This is expected to be downgraded to a two by the next hour, then a one overnight, 75 mile per hour winds by one o'clock, then a tropical storm tomorrow morning. North Texas, we're on the back side of this. It's just gonna be hot and dry over the next few days. The very latest on Ida and our 10 day forecast, all of that's coming up on News 8 at 10 o'clock. We'll see you then.